Hi everyone, it's Alice here from BCHA Ignite. I hope you're well and staying safe. Today I'm here to talk to you about the power of silence. So I'm sure you've heard silence speaks louder than words. It's a really, really common saying, but actually it's so, so true. And silence can benefit us in so many ways. So I'm going to explore this with you now. First of all, I want you to think about how silence can really get somebody's attention. So that could be if, for example, you're a person like me that tries to over explain things, actually pulling back and saying less or pausing and just having silence can be really, really helpful. It can be helpful for me to be able to think things through, but actually it's also sending a signal to the other people I'm communicating with. So I can think back to being at school and I can remember being in a, in a class full of really loud children, not listening to their teacher at all, and the teacher just standing at the front of the class saying nothing, just stood there in complete silence, and very, very quickly the class responded. They were very aware there was a change, and they were very aware that something, something was happening, there was a, a change in a feeling. So that to me is a really great example to show the power of silence, especially when communicating with other people. My next point is silence sometimes is a really, really obvious answer. So when you're trying to explain things and over talk, um, especially if you're a chatty kind of person, again, by saying nothing, it can express um, shock to somebody, it can express disapproval, it can say an awful lot of things. Sometimes actually silence can be really really helpful because if for example someone might might be outspoken and might actually say something they regret, sometimes just holding yourself back and saying nothing and being silent will actually say a lot more and it will get you out of trouble. In fact Nonverbal communication, being silent, is actually a very, very powerful communicative tool. So Albert Morabian actually did some research around effective communication and he stated that only 7% of communication was actual words. He said actually 38% was the voice and the tone, but 55% was the body language and the facial expression. So you can say absolutely nothing but say an awful lot just by remaining silent. I can think of being sat in meetings in the past where I can recall one person that talked and talked and talked and talked, didn't really let anyone else speak. And actually, if I look back to the content of their communication made up of millions of words, actually the content said very little. They probably could have said everything they needed to in two or three minutes, but they waffled on for quite some time. So again, that's another example of how sometimes listening, remaining silent can actually be a really fantastic tool as opposed to using words and speaking, um, which sometimes is less helpful. Silence can actually also improve relationships. It can show empathy to people. So there are instances that might occur where actually we feel we just don't have the words the right words to use so remaining silent and just being with somebody can actually mean an awful lot some people find it really awkward to sit in an uncomfortable silence but if you are able to do that that says a lot about your relationship with somebody also if you are remaining silent in an interaction with somebody it gives the other person time to talk and if you give more pauses, potentially that other person will say a lot more, more than potentially what they would have done. And showing that concern and giving them that space to speak can create more of a bond because it shows that you're really willing to listen and to hear the other person. And it gives you time to have deeper thoughts and contemplation about what that other person is saying. It also can improve authenticity. So many years ago, I studied a philosopher called Heidegger and he wrote a book called Being and Time. And in that book, he spoke about what it was to be an authentic person. And by what, what he meant by that was to be concerned with your being. 
and he states reclaiming ourselves from everyday ways of being to focus ourselves on what's important and to take that shift of our attention so whilst he, he very much recognised that in our lives we put in so many distractions and all of these distractions remove us from what's important, the concept of being. So if we look at our lives now and all the distractions that are going on every single day, you know, the phone's going, the messaging's going, um, social media, television, news reports, radio, emails general chit chatter, constant noise, traffic, sounds, music, constantly, always going on. And all of those things distracting us and occupying our mind away from just being and thinking about what's important to us. So it's really important to find that quiet time for yourself. I was having a chat actually today with one of my colleagues and he was mentioning how he had trouble sleeping. And rather than sitting in silence and reflecting and trying to sleep, he started to use other distractions by watching more television, which actually wasn't actually helping him to sleep. And I can think of the same kind of thing where I maybe focus on using my phone, different apps and tools and things like this, rather than just sitting and being in my own thoughts. So by being in silence, it really helps us problem solve. It helps us develop our creative thinking it can help us de-stress and just generally slow down. So I would like you to think about whether or not you use silence in your life in all the different ways that it can help you. And I'm going to leave you with that thought in silence and wish you well. And I look forward to seeing you soon. Bye now.